is Jason the game back for another video and today I am going to be doing a Minecraft review on the toy series so it's not an actual like mod that you can download onto your Xbox so not like a disc but it's a it's a toy and it's this so this is the I think it's called the animal pack where you get six um Minecraft mobs and I'll go through them all if you don't know the names or don't play Minecraft or that version that the mobs are in. So, well, let's get this over with. Not because I don't want to do the video, just because. Well, there we go. Just so I can, you know, show you guys the things, and that's it. So, first mob we have is the chicken. Now, chickens just spawn randomly in your Minecraft world. Um, this, um, they are the f um, f feathers. No. Wings, yeah. The <laughs> wings are movable, so they move to that to that, so we can dance. And then the head it moves in 360. At least I think it does. Yep. So we can move sideways. Ooh, that chicken looks weird. Must be mutated. So that's the chicken. Now onto the ocelot. So if you don't know what the ocelot is, it's like a leopard. That spawns in your jungle biome, and it um, is very shy, so we get prepared for that. Um, and if you crouch and you're holding raw fish, you can maybe get a cat, and they can be used to scare creepers off. But these can as well, I think. And the the tail's movable, so it moves all the way around, and then the head full 360. Oh, look at that! That's kind of cute, though. I can't remember actually saying that about a toy. But, Minecraft mobs are kind of cute. So I'm just going to put these back in so I know which ones I've done. Alright, that's all. And chicken. Okay. So next is your good Minecraft companion. It is the wolf. Well, it depends because... I mean, you had Iballistic Squid's friend, who was a wolf, but that was a skin. <laughs> but anyway... So you, the dog, um, I think it spawns in tiger biomes, and that's like snowy areas. And if you don't, you don't need to crouch, and they're not shy, so they don't run away. But if there's a pack nearby and you hit one, then the whole pack will come after you. Um, uh, you'll t tell that by their red eyes. And it's the same with zombie pigmen. But they don't sell a toy of that, so I'm not doing a review on it. So, you feed them bones, it might take about 1 to 10. I don't know. But 1 took me about 10. So, the head, full 360. Okay, that's a, that's a bad dog sound. And the tail is waggable. Oh, and also another thing is... I don't know whether it's with the Ossort as well. No, it's not with the Ossort. But, um, the legs move with it. And so does the back ones. So, who do we have next? It is the pig. So, the pig it spawns randomly, same as the chicken. And the two mobs that we have in a moment. So, these drop bacon. Or pork chop. And then you can burn that in a furnace to make it cooked. And that restores more of your hunger. But I don't want to tell. I don't want this to be a a video about Minecraft facts. So anyway, um, if you kill it with a um, I think it's flame sword, a flame enchantment on it, then it will burn to death and drop um cooked pork chops. So the head it, um it obviously moves around the full three sixty. I love it when it's like that. It's kind of cute. So the legs. So the back legs, they will move up to there, and I, d I don't think it's any further on the back. And then these ones, they only move a tiny bit. So you can see that there. So next mob we have the Minecraft sheep. So the sheep, the spawns randomly the same as the pig, the wolf, and the also as well, and the chicken. So all these mobs spawn randomly in your Minecraft world. And you know, they probably spawn after you've killed them. So yeah, obviously you can kill them in Minecraft. It is a game about fighting as well. I mean, you have to survive. 
But anyway, these sheep spawn randomly. If you craft some shears, you can shear them to collect wool for your bed. But shearing is an effective way. Don't really use a sword to kill it because it only drops one. That's unless you have a looting on your sword. So anyway, head full 360. Um, and the feet, they don't move, but they move in like this. So same way as both of them. And the last but not least the cow so obviously this spawns randomly and all of these spawn right um so we've got regular jungle tiger or regular depends um random random and random that when i say random it means it just spawns naturally so the cow um you can get a milk a bucket so you can milk it now, you use that to make cake, but I'm not getting onto that because it's not a Minecraft fact video. No friends. But anyway, the cow, um, it drops raw beef, but you can cook it in the furnace to make steak. Uh, but if you have um, like a fire sword, which has a fire enchantment added onto it, when it dies, if, if it burns to death, then it will drop steak. That's cooked raw beef. So the head, it can move around. Or 360. Cows don't actually make that kind of sound. So the legs, they move like this. So like that, like that, and like that. And yes! So, right, let's put these back in the box. Yes, but it's just to keep them safe. Because the last things that I had of Minecraft. Like my survival pack, I lost the chest, and that was the best thing that I could have hoped for in it. But I still have the crafting table on the bed, so that's a good th thing. So, that's all for this video. If you want to buy it, it's about £20. Well, at least that's where I got it from. It costs about £20 everywhere. But god, that is expensive. But it's worth it if you want to play around with your Minecraft. So I will be doing some more reviews on the Minecraft sets. So I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this video. Make sure to, you know, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And maybe leave a comment down next on what you want me to do. But after I've done the Minecraft reviews. So I'm going to be doing some more Minecraft reviews. So that's all for this one. And on to a new one next time. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.